Our southern border with Mexico is the main ground for the trafficking war against illegal drugs. Law enforcement says they are making progress, but Target 7 found at least one smuggling route is proving incredibly difficult to combat. Target 7's Todd Unger has more on a threat from above that has netted drug lords hundreds of successful drops. From federal checkpoints to the roads, age-old drug smuggling techniques are as strong as ever. Secreted gas tanks, propane tanks, wheels, tires, things like that, um, or just simply backpacked across, you know, from Mexico. But a new threat is emerging along our southern border, and law enforcement down here admit a lot of the tools in their toolbox just don't do much good when it comes to fighting it. Know exactly where they're going to drop is very difficult. And we do mean drop as in from the air. This nighttime video from the National Geographic Channel series Border Wars and seen online at natgeotv.com shows an ultralight aircraft piloted by just one person zipping across the border, dropping illegal drugs, and then disappearing into the night. You know, if they get away with it once or twice, then, you know, what's to say I can't do it three or four more times. Officer Bo Johnston is one of the state police's top drug trackers, helping close the books on hundreds of cases. But when his department stumbled across a wrecked ultralight near the boot heel area in August, they knew it was something different. Cost effective, yes. It's, uh, it's harder for us to detect. Effective because ultralights aren't expensive. Some cost as little as a few grand, and they swoop in, making precise drops even below 500 feet. That makes radar detection difficult at best and provides a disturbing amount of reassurance to the cartels. And certainly that's not to say that border checkpoints aren't just as busy nabbing smugglers. Certainly they are, but authorities say more and more flying in from the air using these ultralight aircraft is becoming a problem. More than 500 documented flights across the border in the past few years alone, according to the feds. You're really, in a very real sense, uh, flying under all of the protection uh, that the United States of America has put there on the border. New Mexico U.S. Senator Tom Udall, along with former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords of Arizona, sounded a major congressional wake-up call, getting legislation passed just last week which stiffens the penalty up to 20 years for using ultralights to transport drugs. Down on the border, it's a step in the right direction, but as the battle rages on... What worked last year may not work this year, so we've got to stay current. Drug trackers realize it won't be long before drug traffickers figure out yet another way to keep their product on the move. In southern New Mexico, Todd Unger, KOAT Action, 7 News. Well, some reports have ultralight aircraft flying over the border as much as a decade ago, although not nearly the numbers as today. President Obama is expected to sign the legislation shortly. Well, it's nice to have you back.